Good morning. Would Jesus withhold his blessings from somebody because, well, they just weren't Jewish? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 7, verse 24 through 30. Let's read it. From there he rose and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and he entered a house and wanted no one to know it, but he could not be hidden. For a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him, and she came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth. She kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. But Jesus said to her, Let the children be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For this saying, Go your way, the demon has gone out of your daughter. And when she had come to her house, she found the demon gone out and her daughter lying on the bed. Jesus is kind of hard on this lady, isn't he? Well, I'm just giving my blessings to Jews. You're not a Jew, so tough luck. But that's, that's not quite it. That's not quite it here. See, why? think about this. If you look at a map, you'll find out that Tyre was way up on the seacoast. It really wasn't a, a, a Hebrew place. It was, it was a foreigner, a place with lots of non-Hebrews. And so Jesus goes very intentionally to that place. He went out of his way to be there. And then when this woman shows up, he doesn't, he doesn't have her sent away. Instead, he engages in a conversation with her. You know, many times we want it, we want it easy. Man, boy, we want it to just be microwaved and just handed it to us hot and steaming on a platter, just what we asked for. But you know what? Many times, isn't it true? Jesus, Jesus knows what we need, and so Jesus... He works in a way to, to draw us out, to, to lead us to understand more the, the depth of the blessing we're asking for. He wants us to reach out for something. He wants to grow our faith because we have so little and we need so much. So Jesus takes this very course with this woman. She's not a Hebrew, but he, he encourages her. He draws her out. And look at her response again. Yes, Lord, but even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. He says, oh, Jesus, just give me a crumb. Just, just heal my daughter. And Jesus immediately uh, does so. So he was just trying to draw her out, that's all. He was not trying to, to be Mr. I'm just for the Jews guy. In fact, today, Romans 4, verse 16 says that we're all children of Abraham by faith. So, so today, all of God's blessings are for everybody who's willing to take them. I wonder if you and I need more of his blessings. So let's seek them out. And let's not be too proud. We should be ready, if we need to, just like this woman, to beg for God's blessing. It's worth it. It's always worth it. If your child was demon-possessed, if my child was demon-possessed, I would beg for a blessing from God. I wouldn't be too proud for that. I hope you wouldn't. But let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your gracious readiness to give blessing. Uh, help us to learn the lesson of humility from this woman and the lesson of the depth of the blessing we can receive from you. We shouldn't be too proud to receive any blessing from you, Lord. We can't bring anything to you except our great need. So, Lord, help us. Help us to be humble and receptive. And please, Lord, help us draw our faith out towards you. And then, Lord, give us blessing according to the riches of your mercies. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God be with you today as you serve him. He's a wonderful God, and sometimes we have trouble thinking the way he does, but he has a, a salvation purpose for everything that he does. Watch for it. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan, Seventh-day Adventist churches over on the west side of Michigan. Hey, if you're in our area sometimes, stop in. I want you to worship with us. Come in and come sometime.